So we made it to the geoforest barely on time. We know we woke up a little late this morning, so we were rushing and then the scooter was almost out of gas and it was like, do we get gas? Do we risk running out of it? And it was like, risk running out yeah. of it. So Good we, thing we did. We would have totally yeah. not made it had we poured gas here. We would not have. We barely missed it. And then thankfully they pushed the boat back by like 10 minutes. So we got a little time to breathe. Um, but we made it here. Apparently this tour is extremely big. It goes to like eight different locations within the geoforce itself. And it actually serves you lunch on a floating restaurant, which is pretty cool. And I hope has coffee because, oh my gosh. I'm actually about to go see if I can run and grab some right now. We've definitely become <laughs> coffee dependent on this trip. I blame it on all of like the time jumping that we do because even to get here, it was an hour difference. Not that that like requires coffee. But when we started our trip, we went to Bangkok and that was a 13 hour difference. Then we went from Bangkok after two weeks to Japan, which was an additional two hour difference to our already jet lagged bodies. Yeah. Then we went back from Japan to Krabi, which is the same time as Bangkok, and then we went from Krabi to Malaysia, which is another hour difference. And so now I need coffee before any time I wake up. <laughs> before or any time she wakes up. There you, can you tell go. There has not been coffee. No coffee. Yet. It. And we are heading out for our tour. Yay. I'm excited. And Daniel got a green tea. So oh. hopefully we'll start waking up. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Killing Joe for a spot. All right. So, first of all, for today, you can call me Ayman. Today only, okay? <laughs> all right. Some other different names. Passport, wallet. Please make sure don't put in the plastic bag because at this area we have a lot of Langkawi Mafia. You know Langkawi Mafia? Macaques. Yeah, macaques. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so if the monkeys here bring a plastic bag, they will come close to you and then grab from you. Yeah, okay? So please make sure that. So, you put it in? Oh, thank you. And we're off. We made it on the boat also. So I realized that I didn't give you guys this information before. For the four hour tour, it's about 120 ringgit, which translates into roughly around $30. But it's four hours, it includes lunch, it goes to a whole bunch of places. I mean, I couldn't complain. Yeah. <laughs> Great deal. ceiling it looks exactly like you would imagine bats to look like in a cave like in a cartoon I didn't mean for that to sound silly but like it's true yeah, it's really cool and they're all kind of like making these little noises and then some will fly around and then go right back to their spot in the ball seat <gasps> they're so cute yeah they really I are I want to pet that now they look so fuzzy they do and they fly kind of goofy kind of like in cartoons like you know I want them I want to take one home <laughs> So the mangrove trees that are behind us actually have protected this island Langkawi from the 2004 tsunami that happened because they were able to be wave breakers. Also we've learned a little bit about the different species that live here. We've got some mud crabs and some mud skippers. Fun fact, the mud crabs with the one big claw are males and the ones with two little small claws are the females. We've also learned that there are snakes here like the pit viper which is actually one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Thankfully though, it is a nocturnal snake, so we don't have to worry about it. All we have to worry about is crabs. And the occasional green spider. And the, what they call the Malaysian Mafia, also known as the long-tailed macaque monkeys that will steal your stuff. <laughs> he has a long-haired squirrel in his little pocket. That's his pet that he just takes it with him to work every day. I need a sugar glider. It would literally live in one of my pockets.
adventurous boat ride. We have now made it to the fish farm. So now here we're, I guess, gonna feed some fish. We're gonna get some food, we're gonna shop, we're gonna hang out. See what there's to do here. She wanna try, huh? Last year, my friend go home without one hand. It's okay. <laughs> I, I only need this hand, so I'm gonna feed them with this one. You just need this hand. To play mobile, come here. Mobile! Yeah. 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 Look at your hand, Come on, fishy, 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 fishy. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you can drop it. Oh, uh, hey, baby. Slime But the oh, bone very hot. Oh, my God. You, you can't see. Okay. So, as we told you before, we took one of the guided tours that were with the group. We were able to save quite a bit of money. It's yeah. typically 250 ringgit for one hour for a private boat for yourself. We paid 240 ringgit for a four hour tour with a guy who spoke English and it includes lunch. And you get like a guide, which is so yeah. important. Like I would not imagine coming here and not having someone explain to me, you know, how the mangroves clean the water and how the mud crabs like, you know, all the different nature <laughs> things that you learn while you're here. One thing that I will warn whoever does try and do the group tour is keep in mind that because you are in a group, you're going to be dealing with people who sometimes are really, really sweet and really wonderful and some who aren't. So just keep that in mind. Stay positive. Yeah. If they shove you, you shove them back. That's just how it works around here. Nobody's mad. Everybody's just trying to get, you know, that perfect Instagram picture. However, we are here after going and feeding some fish and playing with some stingrays. We are finally getting some coffee. Can you tell it's hit me? Um, and we're here for the next 30 minutes. I guess there's like a shop around here, so we're gonna walk around. All right, Daniel, where are we headed? <coughs> right now, we are headed to I don't know where. <laughs> no, we're headed back to the, no, we're headed back to the boat. <laughs> We are about to enter the crocodile cave. There are actually no crocodiles in here, yeah. but it turns out that there's a rock formation that here looks like a crocodile. And so we're about to go in. It's like in the middle of the river. Examine the boat. That was awesome. The monkey was right here. Oh, Daniel, that one's curious. I'm staying close to the edge, hoping one walks on me. Daniel, how are you feeling? <gasps> this is so cool. Please walk on me, buddy. Hi, babe. You love monkey? Love monkeys. We love them. Must he beat monkey? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what do you want? Oh. Come, come, take it, take it. I think he's so nice. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Done. Done. That was the camera. That was amazing. There were so many monkeys, they were jumping on the boat. Daniel got to feed some. Yeah. That was great. Honestly, the best experience we've had in Malaysia yet. That was so, so cool. Hands down. I was telling Annette, I was like, how do I get this guy's job? He literally drives a boat all day, keeps his little pet squirrel with him, just for cuteness purposes, and then he plays with monkeys. That like come and take his food. It's the best. This is so cool. There were maybe like 10 monkeys on this boat. It was awesome. <laughs> We just stopped in the middle of the river. There are maybe a dozen golden eagles flying over us, and they just, I think they're about to feed them. 
I need to scoop my pants from the excitement. All the egg and they eat all types of meat, but it depends on the size. They will not eat bigger than them. And the mangrove tree here, wow. behind you here, so this is their territory. For the eagle, yes, they must have their own territory and start from November until February. Okay, so we just finished seeing all of the eagles and the monkeys. We actually came to one of the floating restaurants and honestly the food looks delicious. So like I said, included in the tour is lunch and it seems like multiple courses. So they started us off with a soup that looks like it's filled with just cabbage and scallions and onions and things like that. They gave you orange juice, which is really sweet. It's really, really good. Oh wow. Very refreshing. Um, and then the meal is supposed to consist of a fried rice with either chicken or egg, also fruits and vegetables. So honestly, more than worth it. This has by far been the coolest thing we've done in Langkawi. Yeah, I would even say Southeast Asia. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like all the temples in Bangkok and all the, the traveling, well, hiking Fuji was awesome. Yes. But next to that, this is definitely the, the greatest experience. Yeah. And the thing that I like about this tour is that so many tours that you go on, you just get to sit on the tour boat. You have animals come to you, but you don't get to like experience or interact with them. Here we were able to feed stingrays, we were able to feed monkeys, and they got yeah. on the boat and passed you, and then we got to feed some fish, and then you get like water splashed in your face. It's really like an immersive experience versus yeah. just like seeing things, which is cool and all, but it's just not yeah. the same. But for right now, they're actually passing out food, so we're gonna go ahead and eat, and we'll catch yes. you guys right after. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can I touch this? Hi, handsome man. And sorry, girl, this is not a male. They have a female. Oh, this is a female. <laughs> Hi, Isabella. Hi, Isabella. She's beautiful. <laughs> Can I give Isabella a kiss? Yes. Daniel, I'm gonna give okay, Isabella a kiss. Okay, do I need this? Uh huh. Okay, so I grab Isabella like this. Mm -hmm. So we just finished eating food at the delicious floating restaurant and now we're at like another fish farm where I got to kiss a shark! It was so cute! I'm so excited. Anyway, we're gonna go see the rest of the fish uh, and see how many of the fish I can kiss and touch. In this one we call a leopard stingray. Leopard stingray. Yeah, leopard stingray. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's like oh, slimy. Yeah. And the other one's a little more rough. Yeah. And you have a five stingray. And this one is a uh, leopard stingray. And if, Beautiful. Okay, see the bigger one? Oh, hi. Wow, yeah. very powerful. This one is a, like a soft puppy. Yeah, it's not like a leopard stingray. Oh. Uh, I can see the mouse. It's a two. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let me see the mouse. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a piranha? It's not piranha. This one we call a giant kivali. If you put your hand in goodbye. Yes, yeah. you put your hand bye bye to your finger. <laughs> yes, you fall in, it's okay, it's gonna attack you. Okay, yes, so don't fall. Bye you. Yeah, yeah you fall in, bye bye. So this is my friend yes. Frank. Frank, tell us about yourself. Yeah. Okay, my name is Oforis, and now i 13 years old. Ooh. Yeah. And you've been working here for how long? Uh, one month only. One month? Uh, yes. He knows more about fish than I will ever know in my lifetime, and he's 13. Dude, you're a rock star. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you so much. Crazy. Literally, we were taking super sharp turns and bouncing. Oh.